Hello, y'all. So today I woke up in a great mood. Um, well, yeah. Um, just feeling blessed, you know? Feeling blessed um, to have God in my life. And feeling grateful that... Um, feeling grateful that um, I chose to... I chose God. I chose Christ. You know, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be quick. I won't be long. But I just wanted to, you know, encourage those who are kind of in that funny, funky stage, 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 <laughs> where they're like, um, I don't know if I want to give my life or give my all to God yet. You know, and it may be because because of how you were raised, maybe you were raised in the church and, you know, um, you were very, it was very strict or, you know, they, they felt like, you know, you had, you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that. And it was just so many rules and stuff like that. Or, you know, you may be struggling in an area where you still want to do certain things and you're like, I ain't trying to get it up yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, look, let me tell you something. I have, uh, been there. And, um, I'll just say this, I'm so glad that I chose to go all in for Christ and me going all in what I've learned. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to give up stuff. Like I thought back in the day that the only thing I could ever do was just attend church events or anything that had to do with church. I had, that's the only place I could ever, ever go. I couldn't do anything, you know, you know, like couldn't drink anymore or, you know, or I don't know. I couldn't listen to certain secular music anymore, you know, like or, or I couldn't listen to secular music at all. I'll just I'll say that. Um, and what I'm learning is this. God telling me or um, pushing me, I can't say pushing me, well, yeah, urging me to not do certain things has nothing to do with the fact that he um, doesn't want you to live free. He knows you. He created you. If the, when the Bible says that he, he knows the number of hairs on your head, he knows you very well. You know, he knows you very well. So much to where he knows the things that causes you to um, be something that is contrary to what he has called you to be. And a lot of times when we talk about who God has called us to be, um, we don't we don't understand we don't understand how important it is to know um, God's identity, know who He is. So a lot of people they really misrepresent they mi misrepresent and misunderstand God's identity. Um, and look, you're even me. There's still things that I'm learning. Um, there's still things that I'm learning about God, um, and, and, and it's okay. Like, you don't have, when you come into being a, a Christian, when you come into knowing Christ, you, you're not going to know everything about him. That's just like when you meet people. Hey, Chris, did I get your name right? It, Chris, right? Hey, Chris, my brother from another mother. But yeah, like, when you come into Christ, like, you're not going to know everything about him you're just you're just not you're just not going to know everything about him and that's okay one of the things that god you know and another thing too is um when it comes to like me messing up or doing things that are against his will and his word there are a lot of things in the bible that i didn't understand you know why i shouldn't do this and why i shouldn't do that and let me tell you something sin me living in sin it taught me why I shouldn't do certain things anymore. Like, why I shouldn't get drunk no more? Why I shouldn't be having premarital sex? You know, like, it taught me. My sin taught me a lot. So I'm grateful for God's mercy and his grace for allowing me to kind of indulge in some stuff. Because he was like, oh, okay, if you want to keep choosing sin? All right, I'm going to let you indulge so you can see why I don't want you to fornicate. You know, why I don't want you to steal, you know, and all this stuff. Or lie and you know just all that stuff you know so i'm just i woke up today just grateful
grateful for God's grace and mercy, grateful for his love, grateful for freedom, you know? And another thing too is I'm grateful for um, that time that I had with God, that wilderness stage that I had with God where all I had to lean on was God, like his word. I'm grateful for that time in my life because it taught me what to do and it taught me what not to do. And yesterday, um, I went out with some friends or whatever, and it was great, man. Like, we all had a really, really great time. And there was a mixture of people. There were some people who were, were strong in the faith, and there were some people who weren't so strong in the faith. But because I have said yes to Jesus and have said yes to his teachings, and has, have, I have spent time with him, quality time with him. There are certain things that, that happened yesterday that I didn't allow myself to indulge in or I didn't allow myself to, you know, entertain. And I postured myself in a position where I'm like, okay, we need to do, uh, be, be careful with this or be careful with that or be mindful of this. And it has nothing to do with the people necessarily being um, uh, negative people, but it's just, I've learned that, okay, when you're in this life, when you're in this walk, God's not saying, oh, you can't go here, you can't go there. No, but he's saying that when you go places, be a light, you know, be a light for, for those people. Be an example of who I am so that they can also, they can, um, they can um, see the love that you project out to people. You know what I'm saying? There are times where you don't even have to necessarily like minister to people or like evangelize or talk about Jesus. Sometimes you can just go in a place and just, just be nice. Just love on folks. Just have fun. Just joke around. Just be a light. Like sometimes that's all you have to do. You don't even have to mention God's name sometimes. You can just literally be a light. And they'll be like, and then they'll wonder like, shoot, well who... They want to get to know you more. They may want to exchange Instagram, you know. They want to make exchange Facebook or whatever. And when they when they follow you, they're going to see you all about Christ. Like, oh, okay, she all about Christ. That's why she act this way. That's why she's so nice. Or that's why she's so humble. Or that's why she's, you know, uh, so uh, fun. Or, you know, because she got, the, she got the joy of the Lord within her. You know what I'm saying? Where she can have fun, you know. Um, yeah, so... So, when I, whenever I do things, and, and there's another thing too, um, like I said, I, I'm going to go back to what God told me. God told me, he said, um, he said, Nina, if you get off track, don't, don't be discouraged, but know that I will put you back on track. And that was so encouraging when I heard that from the Lord, because I was like, you know, I was kind of, you know, before then I was kind of like walking around like afraid. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. And God's like, why are you doing that? Like, why are you living like that? Like, like you know, I, or I can imagine God, like, saying, like, why are you over here, like, being anxious? Like, you know, the Bible says be anxious for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't tell you you couldn't have fun with your life, Nina. I didn't tell, tell you that you couldn't enjoy this life. Look at my word. My word tells tells you to be merry and eat your food and drink your and drink your wine. You know, it, it tells you to, to have fun. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm not here as a, I'm, I'm not a God or a Lord that's, 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 that's trying to like prohibit you from doing certain things. But the things that I, that I do prohibit you to not do, it's for your good. You know, it's for your good, you know? So, so I now, now when I, when I do things and, and I think about Jesus as the chief shepherd, he is a shepherd. Think about a shepherd and, and his sheep. When you see a shepherd and, and his sheep, the shepherd lets his sheep roam freely so god lets me roam freely i get to go here i get to go go, go there and see when it, whenever i feel uneasy about something or whenever i feel like okay wherever the holy spirit is like kind of tugging me to kind of okay let me let me talk to my father about is it okay for me to go here sometimes we make we make rules and say every time you do something you should you should go to god about it and it's like yeah that's the thing there's nothing wrong with that but you don't always have to do that in order to be considered a good christian you just life roam freely you know do your and 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 don't forget the teachings that jesus has has taught you so that when you do roam and when you do go to certain places 
you learn that okay this is this is an area this is a place or you know the things that i'm that i that i've learned and I, I i realize that this probably isn't a good place to go over here or you know it's not wise for me to, to for me to do this or do that you know and and this right here it takes time you know it's not something that's gonna be you're not gonna instantly get it it's a process you know so for for me the reason why I say I have freedom in Christ is because he allows me to live my life and roam freely. But what I do is I keep my father in mind in, in every decision, or I try to. I try to keep my father in mind, okay, you know, would this be pleasing to, 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 to the Lord? And see, I don't do it because of a rule. I do it because I have grown to love, appreciate, and revere him as my Lord, as my father, as my friend. So like I said, I live free, but I recognize that there is somebody that is greater than me and understands things better than me and that can help me so that I won't fall, so that I won't stumble. And if I do stumble, if I do stumble, it's okay. He'll help. He'll pick me back up and put me back in place. And and, and I won't be condemned because I can't, I, I can't be condemned. I believe in Jesus Christ. You feel me? Sorry, you guys. Sorry. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't be condemned. I mean, there's no condemnation, you know, and for those who believe in Jesus Christ. So, you know, at the end of the day, I just I want to encourage my brothers and sisters in Christ who may be on the fence about, you know, because you know we got some people out there who are like the prodigal son who are kind of still out there, you know, living their life, but they they know that there is a father that they, that they belong to and they need to come back home and I just want to you know speak to those people who may be on the fence about giving your life totally to Christ like meaning making him your Lord you know you 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 accepted him as that he is the Savior that he is the Messiah but have you made him Lord of your life and I just wanted to encourage you that today to make him Lord make him Lord and, and, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. God's get that this is what grace is for. Grace is basically, you know, God giving you that room to mess up, okay? Giving you that room to make mistakes, but he allows you in those mistakes. What he wants you to do is to, is to learn from your mistakes so that you won't do it again. Just like with um, Jesus talking to the woman who was caught in adultery. He said, he said, he said, where are your, where are your accusers? Okay, and he said, all right, they're all gone. And he said, look, I forgive you. And he said, but look, this, this, this was where the correction came from. He said, but sin no more. So yeah, you got caught in adultery. Okay, yeah, you messed up. All right, but sin no more. So, you know, once, that's, what, that's, what, that's what God and his grace. When we mess up, God's saying, okay, I give you that grace for you to mess up. Okay, now that I, I hope that you have learned from it, but don't do it again. You know why? You see, you see why I don't want you to do it. You lived it. So now, now that you see why and that you messed up, sin no more. You know. So, anyways, uh, and sometimes that takes people learning it over and over and over again. Okay. And look, I'm one of those people. All right. And I just, I'm thankful for God's grace. I really am. But like I said, I do want you guys to live in freedom. I don't want you guys to think that that, that God is just this, this, you know. You know, he's not that type of God. And this is why this is why we can have the joy of the Lord. This is why we can live in freedom. This is why we can love our God in, in everything that we can do. This is why in everything that we can do, we, we give honor to God. Because we, we, we recognize just, just how awesome of a father we belong to. So I love you guys and I hope that that's helped somebody out here. Um, Auntie Wee Wee, hey, love you. My favorite auntie, y'all. All right. Um, I'm on my way to work, so I hope you guys have a beautiful Sunday. All right, bye, y'all.